Okay, you've been on the job long enough to have learned the basics, what the job involves, who's really in charge, what not to order from the building cafeteria, who to seek out, and who to avoid. This might now be a good time to review the five things you need to know about the federal records that you create, receive, and use. Number one, have you started to accumulate too much information? Ask yourself, can some of my older records be legally destroyed or deleted? The answer will be found in your records retention schedule. The retention schedule is an officially approved policy document that lists the types of records created and used by agency staff, along with mandatory disposition instructions. If you need a copy of the schedule, please ask one of your records management resources. See tip number five below. Can my paper records be stored in an off-site storage? Perhaps you can use the Federal Records Center or other authorized record storage vendor. Your agency may have contracted or otherwise provided for the off-site storage of inactive records that you legally must still retain. Number two, is it starting to get difficult finding things? Maybe you let your file maintenance routine slip a bit. We know that you've been busy. But how about spending that next quiet Friday afternoon doing some records remedial work? Review and implement your office file plan for both your paper records in the filing cabinets and those electronic records on your shared drive to accomplish this task. The file plan is your office's guidance for retention policy, filing arrangements, privacy status, and other relevant instructions in a simple-to-follow summary document. You might be surprised to find those long-lost files that you've been looking for. Number three, are you starting to lose control of your email? By now, you probably have a large collection of emails. Maybe it's time to manage that collection. Ask yourself, is this email an official federal record? If so, what is the retention period? Has your agency adopted the capstone approach for managing email? It probably has. If so, familiarize yourself with how Capstone is being implemented and how it could impact your email management. We're confident that your delete key will be put to good use. Number four, are you adequately documenting your work? How did you do with that recent FOIA request that was sent your way? Spend some time with our first three things to know, and we're sure that you'll be able to document your work more comprehensively and that makes for a quick response to those requests for information. Are your records the stuff of history? If the records retention schedule tells you that they are, you'll want to separate your permanent records from the temporary ones. If you have permanent records, they will eventually be transferred to the National Archives. Besides, when that job promotion or retirement eventually comes, you'll have provided a great head start for your successor. Number five. You have resources to help you manage your records. Finally, keep in mind that there are always resources at your disposal. As a federal employee, you are not alone. All you need to do is identify your local records management contacts, your regional resources, and headquarters records management staff. Also, talk with your colleagues, and for federal-wide guidelines, check out the website of the National Archives and Records Administration. Take these basic records management steps and you'll more quickly find the information you need to ensure that the next stages of your career will be even more successful.